Is backward bending and the demand curve is downward sloping. Which two? These are the two equilibria given to you. Point M and point N. Which of the following statement is correct? Now, first of all, let me explain you a concept of stable versus unstable equilibrium quickly. So, when we talk about stable equilibrium a stable equilibrium is any equilibrium such that when you start from any price you can start from any price you will reach equilibrium price that is called a stable equilibrium an unstable equilibrium is any equilibrium such that when you start from any price, you will not be able to reach the equilibrium price. That becomes an unstable equilibrium. Let's take an example. Supposedly, I tell you that this so I am taking from this diagram point N. More or less on point N, the supply curve is either horizontal or we will take it to be a little upward sloping. So just consider an upward sloping general supply curve. This is the supply curve. And let's say this is my demand curve. Right? I understand that supply and demand are meeting at point E. So this is my price and this is my quality. I am not interested in this. This is fine. This is where the two are intersecting with each other. But the question is, what happens if I take any price which is not the equilibrium price? Let's say I take a price like P1. What happens at this price? At this price, we see that demand is more and supply is less. So what we notice here is that demand is more than supply. We know whenever there will be excess demand in the market, what is going to happen to the prices? There is going to be a movement along prices. Supply is less. Take an example of potatoes sometime back. Or for that matter, onions also had this, this problem sometimes back. When suppliers were not supplying the product, there was enough demand in the market, but nobody was willing to supply it. They had just kept these things in the warehouse. What started happening? We started seeing shooting up of the prices. Prices will increase whenever supply will be less because there will be limited supply in the market. More people want that product. They will be willing to pay more and more price for it. So price will slowly start increasing. When price will increase, you will move up the supply curve. Price is increasing. When price will increase, you will move up the demand curve. Demand will decrease. Until you go ahead and you reach this point of equilibria, where you get exactly this price P here. So when you start from a disequilibrium in the market, you are able to go ahead and hit the equilibrium in the market. This is an example of a stable equilibrium. Now let's reverse this scenario. So what will we do? We will go ahead 
and we will take a downward sloping supply curve. Just say, for example, let's take this as the supply curve. And we will take a downward sloping demand curve, just like what happened at point M. I had a downward sloping supply curve. And I had a downward sloping demand curve. So I am going to take both as downward sloping. Again, demand and supply are equal at point P. E. This is the price. But I am going to go ahead and ask the question, what happens when I reach any other price, like P1? What is happening at P1? At P1, we have supply, which is greater than demand. So at P1, supply is more than demand. When there is enough supply in the market, there are 100 kgs of onions in the market. People are just demanding 20 kgs. So when there is enough supply in the market, but nobody is demanding that product, what will happen to the price? The price will further go down. So if supply is more and demand is less, this will go ahead and reduce the price further. And if price reduces further, then supply and demand, they are going to act accordingly. So when price starts falling further, you will go below. You will not go towards the equilibrium. You will go below from this P1. So when you start from a disequilibrium situation, you don't restore to equilibrium. You are not able to go back towards this price peak. That means this is an unstability. So any unstable equilibrium is where when you start away from the equilibrium points, you are not able to reach the equilibrium back. Stable equilibrium is when you start from a disequilibrium point, you are able to reach the point of equilibrium back. So if you go back and check, see they have just made this backward bending to check these two concepts in the same point. I can very well go ahead and I could have made this into a particular market. I could have very well changed the question and given you two separate demand supply curves or four separate demand supply curves and asked you stable, unstable equilibrium, different ways that you can expect these kind of questions. So maybe the next time I can go ahead and make an upward sloping demand curve and upward sloping supply curve of a product. And now I can go ahead and ask you, is this going to be a stable equilibrium or not? So you are supposed to go ahead and you are supposed to analyze these situations. You're supposed to think what happens under other different kind of situations also. So in this case, here I have a downward sloping. This is what the other case was. That is an unstable equilibrium. And here I have an upward sloping. So it's a stable equilibrium. So the answer to this question is only N is the stable equilibrium. Mark this answer. But additionally, make sure that you understand the concept of stable and unstable equilibrium very well. Because they can just flip the question and ask in multiple ways possible.